the manifold should now be ready to fill the floor heating loop for water and carry out a system pressure test. Connect a length of hose to the lower return drain off point. Place the other end into a bucket to catch any water as it passes through the hose. Connect cold water main supply hose to the top flow bar drain off point and secure it with a Jubilee clip if required. Make sure the isolation valves are in the closed position. Open both the flow and return drain off taps on the manifold and turn on the cold water supply hose. Open the first flow gauge by hand a couple of turns from closed. Don't force the flow gauge past the point where it becomes tight to turn. Open the corresponding manual return valve directly below the open flow gauge. Water will now start to flow through the open circuit and the flow gauge will register a flow. Make sure that the drain hose is directed into the bucket. Air will pass through the pipe and show as bubbles in the water. When the water runs clear, close the manual return valve and corresponding flow gauge. This will seal off that circuit. Repeat this sequence, opening the flow gauge and return valve for each individual circuit of pipe one at a time, purging all the air from the pipe and filling with water. Don't forget to keep an eye on the water level in the bucket and empty in between commissioning each circuit of pipe. Once the last circuit of pipe has been purged and filled, leave the flow gauge and return valve open, close the drain off tap on the lower return bar, reopen all the other flow gauges and return valves on all circuits that have pipe connected. The pressure gauge will start to climb, allow the pressure to climb up to three or four bar and close the fill drain tap on the flow bar. This will seal the system and hold it under pressure test. You can now turn off the cold water hose supply. Allow the system to remain under pressure for at least three hours. If the pressure drops, investigate and remedy the loss of pressure. When the pressure test is complete, the cold mains water supply hose can be removed and the pressure released by briefly opening the drain off tap via the hose into a bucket. Once the pressure has been released, close the drain off tap. The pressure gauge can be removed and the return temperature gauge housing and gauge refitted. Refit the protective curtain using the self tapping screws removed earlier. Place the door and secure with the lock and key. The floor heating system and manifold is now commissioned and ready for the electrics to be installed and final connection to the heat source along with the addition of a suitable inhibitor.